Hello viewers, welcome to our channel of Scientific Gurus. So uh, last time we have just analyzed that how to set up a COVID-19 PCR, how to set up the machine. So now we'll just show you how to analyze the real-time results on real-time basis. Okay. So before analyzing directly the results which we have run for COVID-19 samples, I just go through a quick brief of what what are the graphs, what are the results which we will analyze. Although these data are maximum available on the web, so there is no need to uh, go in detail. So I just quickly go through what is real-time PCR and what are the results which you will get while analyzing the results. So, just start here from real-time PCR and COVID result analysis. Hello, this is Dr. Mayan Gangwa, research scientist here. So, uh, if I go through the definition, what is real-time PCR? So, real-time PCR is nothing but a specialized technique. What is PCR? Real-time. As the name suggests, the reaction you will get it on a real-time basis. As the reaction proceed, you will get the result on real-time basis. Correct. So this enables the researchers to quantify the amount of DNA in the sample at the start of the reaction. Means as soon as the reaction started, means when the master mix get the targeted DNA, then you will get the you will get to know that yes, I, I'll, I'm getting the results. But in a normal PCI, you won't get any result. You have to check, go to the gel electrophoresis. Okay. So. Uh, this is a real-time PCR means you will get the results on real-time basis uh, when you will get the amount of specific or targeted DNA. Correct. So what are the steps of real-time PCR? I am not going to be detail what is real-time PCR, uh, what is the principle or mechanism of real-time PCR. If you, if you viewers are really interested, then just drop the message. I will uh, make a brief presentation of what is real-time basis, uh, what is real-time PCR and what is the mechanism so in brief, in very quick, we just go to that, that there are, these are the major steps that makes of the uh, real-time reactions of the cycle. Almost 40 cycles, this is mentioned, reactions are generally run of 40 cycles. It depends upon to kit to kit. Which kit you are using will decide the number of cycles. It might be possible that you will get 45 cycle, 40 cycle. 38 cycle, so it may vary, okay, fine. But the main steps which is going in a real-time PCR are divided into three parts. That is denaturation, annealing, and extension. Means the denaturation. As, you, as soon as you will get the DNA, the denaturation of the DNA template will be there. High temperature, that means a melt. Melt of a double standard DNA. Double standard will break into the single standard. So losing secondary structure in a single standard DNA. Okay, fine. So this basically is a high temperature. Denaturation means you have to break the DNA. So that must be uh, done in 95. Sometime it is 98 degrees Celsius. It depends upon the GC content. If the GC content is high, the time to denature the DNA is high. So, the very first step is denaturation, then the annealing. Annealing means uh, the primer will go in to the, get the complementary strand on that single standard DNA. During annealing, the complementary sequence have an opportunity to hybridize with the single strand which is our target DNA which we will get from the extraction. So, an appropriate temperature is used that is based on the calculated melting temperature of the primers, primers which we have used. For example, in COVID and uh, COVID detection, we use different primer probe set, NG, EG, RD, RP, ORF. I'll explain in detail further. So the, uh, the temperature is set according to the primer use that will be standardized. And this is the step when the primer is going to bind with a single standard DNA. Le last step is the extension. Single strand, then the binding of the primer, then the extension. Extension, extension temperature 72 to 72 degree. Here the activity of the DNA polymerase. DNA polymerase is the enzyme <coughs> which is used <coughs> sorry, for extension of the DNA. So DNA extension is there. Primer extension occurs up to 
100 base pair per second. The speed is very high. So in 40 cycle, you will get the complete result of real time PCR. So if the major terms which are used in a real time analysis means when you will get the graph. So these are the things like the graph, you will get a graph of sigmoid curve. It might be a zigzag curve. So uh, there are the, some uh, standard scientific term, terminology used for these graphs. If you will see, here is a model of real time quantitative PCR plot. The very first is the baseline threshold cycle. I, 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 I guess you, uh, you viewers are very much aware about the threshold. Threshold is the minimum value which you have to cross to show your talent in general terms. If I will say, means for example in a high school or in an entire school, threshold or cutoff cut, cut value to get a first division is 40%. Okay, so 40% is a threshold to get first division. So below 40, below 60, below 50 is a threshold is set by specific particular agencies. So threshold, here the threshold is when you will get start amplification, when machine, machine will get a specific uh, number of copy number of DNA, then amplification start. So baseline threshold CT is the threshold cycle. So the short term is CT. So here you can see this is the CT means cycle threshold. This line is a threshold line and uh, as the cycle proceed, PCR cycle number proceeds, when you will get the specified number of DNA copy number, then this will cross this threshold. And once this will cross the threshold, this uh, that will be the CT value. CT value, you have uh, seen a very much query or uh, confusion about the CT value of COVID positive patient, COVID negative patient means uh, they are very much worried about the CT value, importance of CT value in COVID analysis. That particular section I'll co cover it in uh, another video because this is a means there is nothing to be correlated with the CT value. CT value is only the value when they will get a particular amount of DNA to cross that threshold. Okay, fine. So this is the CT value means. Uh, here, there is no template. See, this is the blue line shows there is no template, means no amplification, no cross of threshold. But when the threshold will be crossed, this is called a CT value. Fine. Now, the next terminology is a baseline. Baseline is the value of real time PCR reaction that refers to the mean signal level during the initial cycle of the PCR. 3 to 15. Uh, this is literature showing 3 to 15. But basically, around 17, 18, or 20, you won't get any amplification. Baseline, if you have really seen the graphs of COVID or influenza or any real time analysis, you will get a noise. This is a noise. This is a baseline. Means in this particular cycle number, the number of DNA is going to be multiplied so that they will cross the threshold. So, if there is a little change in fluorescent signal, so you won't get any significant amplification low level signal of the baseline can be equated to the background or so called noise of the reaction correct the next terminology is threshold means the threshold threshold of the real time pcr reaction is a level of signal that reflects a statistically significant increase okay statistically significant increase over the calculated baseline signal this is a baseline signal Threshold means amplification has been started, but that is of not significant. But when that it crosses a significant level, means a CT has been means uh, come into the picture. That is the threshold. Fine. So usually real time PCR instrument software automatically set the threshold. You won't have to set the threshold, but you can set. When you'll get the result, you can change the threshold. Okay, so machine will automatically set the threshold at 10 times the standard deviation of the fluorescence value. CT as I already told you, CT is the threshold cycle. Cycle number at which the real means significant fluorescent signal of the reaction crosses the threshold value. Means from here, every cycle will get a multiple number of copy number of DNA. You will get a significant amplification. So the CT is used 
to calculate the initial DNA copy number because the CD value is inversely related to the started amount of the target. If you, uh, for example, if a COVID patient is high, uh, significantly, means clinically significant, means that a particular COVID patient is having a significant symptoms of fever, breathlessness, and another patient who is having COVID positive but won't have any clinically significant. So when we'll uh, take both the samples, both the RNA of both the uh, patients, then the initial copy number of the clinically high copy number of uh, the patient, which is having a high copy number, will get low CT value, will get a higher number of RNA, will change into the DNA. So to, that depend upon the starting number of target. For example, this was mentioned in comparing real-time PCR results from sample containing different amount of targets, correct? A sample with twice the starting amount will eat a CT one cycle earlier than the sample that is contain half as many copy number of the target. Means if one patient is seriously ill, is having a significant uh, viral high, very high viral count, then their CT will be low as compared to the patient who is today he will get an infection and uh, tomorrow uh, the test will be performed. And if a patient uh, whose test will be performed after four days means a very high copy number is there. So the CT will depend upon the initial number of amount of target. Okay. So now the three phases of PCR. When the PCR will get the significant amount of uh, template DNA to amplify when they'll cross then they'll that cycle will be crossed means that uh, cycle will be crossed uh, the number of threshold means that thresh, uh, they'll get a significant copy number so a sigmoid curve will be there so three phases of PCR exponential linear and plateau exponential means exact doubling of product exact doubling of product from here, when this cross the threshold, the CT will be there and exact doubling of product means exact doubling of DNA amount will be there. So reaction is very precise and very specific. That is exponential phase. Linear phase, for example, this is a sigmoid curve. So when the curve, see, this is, means this is exponential, high precision during exponential phase. This is part is a linear phase. The reaction component are becoming limited. Why limited? Because the master mix which you have provided, most of the component of the DNA has been amplified now. There is a very limited copy number of DNA. So the reaction efficiency is dropping. Plateau phase, reaction stopped because the cycle number 40, 35 has been completed. No more products are being made. So you won't get any amplification, but you will get a sigmoid curve like this. So this is the end of the slide. We'll uh, now analyze. We'll now analyze the real-time result in our next uh, next video. So I hope this basic this basic uh, means the basic steps or the basic terminology you will get it. Very briefly, I have not gone in detail about what is real-time PCR because you will get a enough information on the web. If you're really interested, then I'll uh, make a new presentation for the real-time PCR. In the next video, I'm just going to shoot out the real-time analysis, live result analysis. I'll show you the uh, through the software of the real-time machine how to give the result as a positive, how to give the result as a negative, how uh, another, not only the positive or negative, you have to mark the result as repeat also. Repeat on the basis of what parameter that I'm going to explain you. Okay, thanks for watching this video, but please don't forget, like, share, and drop your comments whatsoever you have, uh, means uh, confusion about the real-time PCR, or any comments or any related to the real-time PCR or COVID analysis or any experimental analysis. Thank you. Thanks for watching the video.